Australia. We're an unabashed, honking mass of rev heads. Who doesn't love the romance of our road movies? But the story's changing. All over the world, it's a new dawn for the electric car. She's clean, she's fast, and she's getting cheaper by the day. The federal government needs to change gears on EV policy. So here's where the rubber hits the road. To reach net zero by 2035, we need to hit the brakes on emissions from transport. And EVs will play an important role. The rest of the world is speeding ahead. Norway is cranking with 75% take up of EVs, while Australia is puttering along with less than 1%. America's busy exporting over $8 billion of EVs, creating millions of jobs. And New Zealand is revving up subsidies to help people pay for EVs and banning the import of petrol cars by 2032. But we're stuck in the slow lane. The Feds aren't doing enough to encourage EV sales, develop infrastructure, and the best sellers aren't even available in Australia. We're becoming a petrol car graveyard with manufacturers dumping millions of outdated models on the only global player silly enough to buy them, Australia. We need policymakers to put the pedal to the metal, lift the red tape, build the infrastructure, and get in the fast lane to overtake climate change. <laughs>